Hi friends, once again good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends here we are discussing questions for ESIC and RRB exam. Here we are discussing questions from fundamentals of nursing. Subject wise questions we are discussing. Already two part important questions completed. Again the next set of questions from fundamentals of nursing. Before going to the questions we can see some important points. First point regarding cerebrospinal fluid CSF. Its appearance is clear. CSF is clear or colorless in nature and glucose content is 40 to 80 milligram per deciliter glucose or sugar content. Okay. And osmolality is 290 to 298 milli osmol per liter. And the pressure of CSF in terms of water, it is 70 to 80 mm of water. And in terms of Hg or in terms of mercury, it is 100 to 180 mm of Hg. 100 to 180. And the protein content in CSF is 15 to 45 mg per deciliter. And total count, okay, Tc in CSF is 0 to 5 cells. And WBC count is 0 to 6 mu liter. And chloride content in the CSF is 700 to 760 mg per deciliter. This is the normal CSF study. And the next important point, cerebral perfusion pressure, normal cerebral perfusion pressure is 70 to 90 mm of Hg. And intracranial pressure normal is 5 to 15 mm of Hg or 5 to 10 cm of water. This is the normal cerebral perfusion pressure and normal intracranial pressure. And the next important point, and the next point, some drugs should be withheld or some drug should be stopped before surgery that we can see aspirin aspirin is an antiplatelet it should be withheld seven days prior to the surgery and warfarin warfarin is an anticoagulant it should be withheld four days prior to the surgery and clopidrogel is an antiplatelet drug it should be withheld four days prior to the surgery and heparin should be withheld six hours prior to the surgery and diuretics should be withheld one day prior to the surgery and anti-diabetics on the day of surgery okay this is a very very important point warfarin four days prior to the surgery clopidrel should be withheld four days prior to the surgery Heparin 6 hours prior to the surgery, diuretics 1 day prior to the surgery, antidiabetics on the day of surgery and heparin 7 days prior to the surgery and drugs should be continued. Include digoxin, antihypertensive drugs and antiarrhythmic. This can continue during the surgery. Okay. This is the important point and we will continue the questions. First question, what is the position of a patient before giving enema? Options, option A, right lateral position, option B, left lateral position, option C, supine position, option D, tendlenburg position. Which position is preferred while giving, which position is given to a patient during the time of enema? It is left lateral position, option B is the correct answer. The height of the enema can, that is also important point, this is the previous year question. The height of the enema can should not be above 18 inches or 45 centimeter from the anus. In case of, this is for, in case of cleansing enema. Okay, important point, the height should not be 18 inches or 45 centimeter from the anus. Move on to the next question. In which position should the nurse place the infant to examine the thyroid gland? And options. Option A. Prone position. Option B. Supine position. Option C. Standing position. Option D. Sitting position. Which position is preferred for the examination of thyroid gland in case of infant? It is supine position. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question, in a cerebrospinal fluid sample, all of the following are present except options, option A, red blood cells, option B, white blood cells, option C, lactate, option D, protein. Question, which component is not present in the CSF? As we already discussed in the important point, the component of CSF, 
it's content it's not contain red blood cells white blood cells is there lactate is there protein is there but rbc is not there it is clear or colorless fluid so no rbc option a is the correct answer move on to the next question rhythmic waxing and waning of respiration is called options option a hyperventilation option b hypoventilation option c can stroke respiration option d orthopnea our question a rhythmic waxing and waning of respiration what is the meaning of waning and waxing waning means a breathing pattern which is slow okay it is decreasing breathing pattern followed by apnea apnea means absence of breathing and which will be lasting for about 10 to 60 second then followed by increasing the rate and depth of respiration okay waning followed by waxing this is mainly seen in case of can stroke respiration option c is the correct answer option d orthopnea means patient can breathe only in upright position then hyperventilation means there is a rapid breathing in case of panic situation or anxiety situation that is rapid breathing okay hypoventilation means slow breathing or slow respiration that is known as hypoventilation and the next question Guzmal breathing is associated with options option A atelectasis option B pneumonia option C heart failure option D diabetic ketoacidosis Guzmal type of respiration means there is a deep a repetitive gasping like uh, respiration which is seen in case of diabetic ketoacidosis option D is the correct answer Move on to the next question. A sudden redness of the skin is termed as options. Option A, flush. Option B, redness. Option C, pallor. Option D, erythema. Sudden, immediately. A sudden redness of the skin is known as flush. Option A is the correct answer. And the next question. A child with fever, oxygen demand of the body increases because... options option a patient is less active option b patient is more active option c metabolic needs increases option d none of this question why increasing oxygen demand in case of fever because metabolic needs of the body will increase during the time of fever okay so the patient or so the child need more oxygen and the next question hypoxia means options option a lack of oxygen in the tissue option b lack of oxygen in the blood option c bluish discoloration of the skin option d all of this hypoxia hypoxia means decrease oxygen in the tissue option a is the correct answer and hypoxemia means lack of oxygen in the blood and option c bluish discoloration of the skin is known as cyanosis And the next question total cessation of breathing is called options option A tachypnea option B bradypnea option C apnea option D orthopnea total cessation or total stoppage of breathing is known as apnea option C is the correct answer this apnea is most commonly seen in case of can stroke respiration in the previous question we discussed okay apnea followed by deep respiration that is in case of can stroke respiration here total cessation of breathing is known as apnea and the first option tachypnea tachypnea means increase respiratory rate over 24 breaths per minute that is known as tachypnea and bradypnea means decrease respiratory rate it is less than 10 breaths per minute that is known as bradypnea and orthopnea means as we already discussed patient can breathe only in upright position okay and the next question a patient with dyspnea should be placed in options option a lithotomy position option b supine position option c sins position option d orthopnic position a patient with dyspnea dyspnea means difficulty in breathing can be placed in orthopnic position orthopnic position means patient can breathe in upright position okay option d is the correct answer and the next question 
के बैंड इज गिवन फॉर ए पेशेंट विथ ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए हाइपरनेट्रीमिया ऑप्शन बी हाइपोनेट्रीमिया ऑप्शन सी हाइपर कैलीमिया ऑप्शन डी हाइपो कैलीमिया के बाइंड इज ए पोटासियम बाइंडर मेडिकेशन ओके दिस इज मेनली यूज इन केस ऑफ हाइपर कैलीमिया हाउ इट एक्ट मीन्स दिस के बाइंड हेल्प टू बाइंड और हेल्प टू prevent the absorption of potassium in the gastrointestinal tract okay so k bind is used for patient with hyperkalemia hyperkalemia means increase serum potassium level normal serum potassium is 3.5 to 5.1 milli equivalent per liter and first option hypernatremia means increase serum sodium level hyponatremia means decrease serum sodium level normal sodium level is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter hypokalemia means decrease serum potassium level and the next question appropriate time duration to assess the pulse is options option a 15 second option b 30 second option c 45 second option d 1 minute and the correct answer is it is 1 minute option d is the correct answer time duration to assess the pulse and the next question bp or blood pressure regulating center is located at options option a hypothalamus option b medulla oblongata option c pons option d cerebellum blood pressure regulating center is located at medulla oblongata medulla oblongata is known as cardiovascular center so cardiovascular center and bp regulating center that is medulla oblongata and the next question temperature difference between axillary and retinal root is options option a 1 degree fahrenheit option b 2 degree fahrenheit option c 3 degree fahrenheit and option d 4 degree fahrenheit difference between axillary and rectal temperature normal axillary temperature is 97.6 degree fahrenheit or 36.4 degree celsius and the normal rectal temperature is 99.6 degree fahrenheit or 37.5 degree celsius here our question in case of fahrenheit the difference between axillary and rectal root is 2 degree fahrenheit option b is the correct answer and if it is in case of celsius means 1.1 degree celsius okay and the next question the angle of insertion for intramuscular injection is options option a 15 degree option b 25 degree option c 45 degree and option d 90 degree angle okay angle of inserting while giving IM injection it is 90 degree angle option D is the correct answer and in case of subcutaneous injection it is 45 degree in case of intradermal it is 15 degree angle and intramuscular injection it is 90 degree angle here in this video again we discuss questions from fundamentals of nursing in the next video again we can see questions from another subject thank you for watching if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle